gonna have a piece. Uphill walk. Hey guys. Hello guys. So today we're going somewhere quite adventurous. Yes, it's in Chungcheongbukdo province. Mm -hmm. This temple is called Guinza. It's more like a temple complex. Yes. In the mountains. 27th May is Buddha's birthday, so yeah. we thought maybe it would be nice to visit this time of year. Mm -hmm. I'm really pumped about this. Let's start this journey. So, wait, where are we and where are we trying to go? We still have to drive an hour and a half. Oh gosh. This is still in Gyeonggi province. We have to go to yeah, Chungcheongbukdo. Chungcheongbukdo, yeah, so I guess we're going to Way down. down like driving climbing <laughs> up this mountain this is pretty high up there i didn't expect it to be that up there yeah yeah this uh, mountain itself will have to drive for 11 kilometers it's beautiful and there are bus stops here yeah we're almost, almost. there I thought we were gonna have like a light little meal and this is like we're gonna have a piece. Hey, the air is so fresh up here and I feel like every single one of these dishes here that we're eating is like so fresh and seasoned to perfection. All right. Okay, we finished that feast and we're going to wait for this shuttle bus to go up the mountain to this temple. Before we go up there, we first want to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video in the first place. We usually use it on Netflix. Yeah. Watching Downton Abbey because yep. Korean Netflix doesn't have Downton Abbey. We put it as a London and then we watch Downton Abbey. So mostly we use it for streaming purpose. Yeah. And even if you're not a Netflix user, it can also bypass region blocked content mm -hmm. like news sites, videos on news sites, even region blocked videos on YouTube. It's super easy to bypass that with Surfshark. We need a VPN for traveling because we're like hooking up to like public Wi Fi on these like rest stops up here. Surfshark is a VPN that basically protects your data by encrypting it all. So if somebody tries to hack you, they can't even read the information. It's all just gibberish. So we've been using Surfshark for about three years now, nearly mm -hmm. three years. It's like an everyday just application that we use on like all our devices. Yeah. So it's super cheap too. If you guys want to give Surfshark a try, we have a link and code in the description box and you can get a great deal with Surfshark. Again, staple for our daily lives. We're probably going to watch Downton tonight after this tiring day of <laughs> driving and climbing mountains. But anyway, let's go up to that temple. All right, we have to catch the bus now. It's right here. I think so. Looks like temple but this is actually a bus terminal yep look at this i've never seen a bus terminal that looks like this and there's a little post office right there too uh, that's, that's so cute i know 
So that was just half, and now we have to walk up this. Oh my. This is the map of the place. Um, as you can see, it's a very steep uphill walk, but I'm very curious to get to the top if we can. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just slowly. This place is enormous. Look how small he looks. This Queensha temple is the biggest temple in South Korea. I've been to a lot of temples in Korea and a lot of different provinces, mm. but this is by far the most huge and impressive looking complex <laughs> that I've ever seen. I need my sunnies. It's actually a relatively new temple as well. Right. Uh, it was built in the 40s and then it was mm -hmm. kind of uh, burnt during the Korean War and then kind of rebuilt it in like the 60s, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. So compared to a lot of the temples that are like hundreds upon hundreds of years old, this She's pretty new, yeah. Right? Yes. So it looks even more oppressive. Wow. Mm. Little temple cat with no tail. So as you guys can see, a lot of these structures have like several stories, which is actually really rare mm -hmm. for Korean temples. Typically they're one, maybe two stories tall but um they say it might be due to kind of the restrictions of like the narrowness of this valley like they can't build out they have to build up so it's almost like a apartment temple yeah. <laughs> you know like you have no space so you have to uh, right. work with what you've got and also they say that this temple can hold up to ten thousand yeah. monks and feed double that number and they also maintain a farm in the area that's 60,000 pyong which is huge and that provides a lot of the food that they eat mm -hmm. here at this temple oh my god it's like, oh man it's just it's never ending it's like this village that's so cool i thought this was the end but uh, nope we still have to go this way. This way? Yep. This is the kind of top highest area. But look at this part. We came in here and like this is literally built on top of the mountain rocks. Yeah, I feel like we're going into the cave or I know. something. I know, it's even echoey in here. Yeah. And it's cool. Ah, nice. Look at this thing. They just built right on top of it. It's like one with nature. Okay. But there's a little look off point here. Okay. Mountains. Wow. Look up. That's weird.
I really recommend coming around Booty's birthday because these lanterns are like next level. Okay. Wait, is this it? No. The view is like up there. Oh. So this is like a huge structure, but look at the stairs up there. Oh, oh man. <laughs> wow. So we have to go up this way, and I can't really see where that leads to. How are you holding up? I mean, not too bad for now, but I don't want to get too cocky because... Every time I think like, oh, we're just about there. We're not just about there. I think if you go this way, then it's the mountain. Yeah. No, this way I'm sure like there's... Yeah, because I don't want to get lost here. I also read that this place used to be famous for praying for three days, then the dreams will come true. Oh. That's how it, this place got really famous and more people started to come and that's how it got really popular and big. Oh, wow. Is that why I saw the number 33 on some of these lanterns? Three? Three? Maybe. We're almost there, guys. Wow. Check this out. I'm more impressed how they built this I know. Place. It's almost like top of the mountain. This is a really difficult place to do construction. I know. Oh, wow. Oh. Are those the Chinese zodiacs? I think so. They are. Dragon. Mine's a secret. <laughs> you're, you're Canadian, so you don't have one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so over here, um, you guys can see these floats that they're preparing. Each Buddhist temple kind of contributes to the Buddha's birthday parade mm. they have in that area. And they kind of light up and they go along like some road or something. And you can listen to the music. And yeah, it seems like they're preparing them for next week. Oh my gosh, look at the mountains. After enjoying this beautiful atmosphere and view from all the way up here that we worked so hard to get to, we're gonna head back down. There's other spots that like we didn't see on our route up. So we're gonna try to see something over here that we think we missed. It looks pretty cool. It's like a golden roof. Oh, I don't wanna go down. I know. Uh, we worked so hard to come up here. Let's just follow the cat. She is going Yeah. Wow. She's right. Yeah, she's like, follow me. I'll show you something nice. Oh. I know. All right, let's follow that cat. Temple cats. <laughs> 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 
So we went up on the other side, but when you come down, I recommend coming down the opposite side because you'll have a totally different experience because it's all just different. Like we didn't see these places from where we were there. Oh, look at this complex. water ASAP and thank god they have this little cute thing here. Alright, take my money. Yeah. We need that. Ah. Oh, nice and cold. Oh. By the way, if you visit Korea and you're into temple stays, they have a temple stay program here. And I just saw there that they have it like a, an English information too. So I'm sure they'll be accommodating to different people from different countries. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go home. By the way, we're looking at the temple stay and you have to wake up at 3 a.m. I think like starting like the meditation. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> walking backwards because it's easier on the knees and ankles. <laughs> There's a lot of makgeolli and donggeonju they sell here. <laughs> I would love to have one. Uh, I have to drive though. Bummer. We made it. Oh, my knees. My calves. <laughs> <laughs> we each have like a different body part that's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> 